Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today. This is Crystal. Thank you for joining me today for part one of the Library Quilt Quilt Along. Today I will show you how to cut fabric and give you techniques for cutting your fabric for your quilt. I'll show you the, the widths of the fabric strips that I'm going to use for my quilt. Once again, you don't have to use the same dimensions I'm using. If you learn the techniques that I'm teaching, you can also make a quilt of any any size, any dimension. So let's get started. So for cutting fabric for the library quilt, I have decided to cut my fabric into five different widths. I'm cutting two and a half inch strips, three inch strips, three and a half inch strips, four inch strips, and four and a half inch strips. I may not use all of the strips that I'm cutting, but I'm going through my fabric scraps. I keep my fabric scraps in a, can't even fit in the frame, two and a half gallon hefty storage bag. So I keep them by color. So today I'm working on the blue family. So I'm just going to cut a few pieces to show you how I am cutting my strips. And once I've done with all of the colors, I'm going to go back and I'm going to cut white strips that will, like for example, this is one of my color strips. I'm going to cut white strips that I'm going to sew on this end to extend, to extend this strip. This strip is seven and a half. So most of my strips, once I cut the width, I cut them anywhere between seven and nine and a half inches long. As I stated previously, my blocks will be 12 and a half inches when I'm ready to sew my rows together. So I just want a variety of colors, a variety of widths, five different widths, and then I have a variety of lengths because books come in different heights. So once I'm done, cutting all of my colored fabric. I'm going to go back. I have some Kona white. I buy it by the yard. I'm sorry. I buy it by the bolt. So I have a new bolt. It's a mini bolt, nine yards. I'm going to um, just cut strips. It'll be the length, of, you know, the width of fabric. I'll cut my strips and then I'll sub cut it to different lengths. But as right now, I just want to show you how I'm cutting my strips. This is a three inch strip. So I have different piles here, two and a half, three, three and a half, four and four and a half. So this is just a scrap I had from a previous project. This is about a little over six inches wide. So I take my ruler, I have an acrylic ruler, cr acrylic ruler and it's subdivided into eight. So I'm going to cut a two and a half inch strip from this piece of paper, this piece of fabric. So I usually, like this is a straight edge. Some, some of my scraps do not have straight edges, but this one has a straight edge. So I can just put the two and a half inch and I'm using a rotating cutting mat. So once I cut, I don't have to pick up my fabric. I can just rotate my mat. So this is two and a half, take my rotary cutter, and then I just go from the bottom and cut up. So this, I move to the side to the next strip. I pick up my ruler and then I rotate my mat. So for this strip, you know, each strip is different. There is no pattern. I'm just trying to, um, you know, whatever strikes me. Like this strip, I think I'll make it eight. This, this edge is straight as well. So I'm gonna make this strip eight inches long. So I use this line, make sure it's straight, make sure it's straight here to two and a half, and then eight inches right here. So I hold the ruler, take my rotary cutter, and then cut. You start below the fabric, and then you end above the fabric. And this is trash. So this is two and a half, so this goes in my two and a half pile. So that's what I do for all of my fabrics. 
I've done yellow, gray, red, pink, and now I'm on blues. So I'm going to do some purples. You know, I'm just going to go through all of my fabric scraps and I may not use everything in this quilt, but I like to have more than enough. And I, my blocks will be five across and five down. And I'm going to have, most of my books are going to be vertical, but I am going to make some blocks where my books are horizontal and stacked. So I'm going to do one in one of those kind of blocks in each row. So that's five blocks. So I'm going to make seven blocks when it's time to sew, just so I have extra. And the good thing about two and a half inch strips is that my binding, whenever I make a quilt, my binding is two and a half. So whatever leftover two and a half inch strips I have could potentially go to binding. So that's something to think about. So this strip I'm going to make, let's see, I'm going to make this strip three and a half inches wide. So always measure twice, cut once, one, two, three, and there's my half. Cut, and then this piece right here, this is trash. So I'm going to also, I'm going to, this is this edge doesn't yes it's fine so i'm going to make this one i think i'm gonna make this seven and a half there's no rhyme or reason i just feel like making that seven and a half take my rotary cutter start at the below the fabric cut in above the fabric and this is trash and then i put this in a pile of three and a half inch strips and so that's how I've been doing it for all of my colors. So I start with, I'm going to use this as an example. I am going to cut my white fabric from yardage, but that's not going to fit in the frame. So I wanted to use this 10 and a half inch square. So I'll, for my white fabric, for two and a half inch strip, if you're not comfortable sewing, if you're not comfortable with your cutting and if you think that two strips this small will not line up you can cut your this is a two and a half inch strip so you can cut your white an eighth of an inch wider you can cut it at two and five eighths or if you need two and three quarters because you can always trim later so it's better to be too big than too small so if you're not comfortable so i will I will cut a two and five eighths right now. This is two and five eighths. As I stated before, my ruler is cut into eight. Each inch is cut into eight different tick marks. So this is two. So I'm lining up. This is the half inch line and there's a smaller line next to it. That's five eighths. And that's another thing with quilting. You need to be relatively good with fractions. You don't have to be a math master, but you need to be relatively good with fractions. So this is two and five eighths. So you see it's slightly bigger. So if you are not comfortable with sewing or if you're a beginner, that's an option. Cut your white strips an eighth of an inch wider than your colored strips and then you can trim it trim the strip after you color these uh, after you sew these together because that's the next step after we cut all of our colored strips and we cut all of our white strips we're going to sew them together so that they're extra long the finish it depends on like most of, none of my color straps are smaller, shorter than seven inches. So when I cut all of my whites, I'm not there yet. I'm just doing it today for purposes of the video. But when I cut my white strips, I'm probably going to cut them all at seven inches. So that when I do sew them together, I'm going to lose a half, a quarter inch on the white. And then it'll be long enough. And then when I sew all of my strips together, and I, like I stated, I have a 12 and a half inch square ruler. I will square it up 
this is a 12 and a half inch square ruler I'll square up my blocks when I'm done and that'll be that so if you are new to sewing or quilting or you're just not confident feel free to cut your white strip an eighth to a quarter inch wider than your colored strips and once again I'm cutting two and a half inch strips three inch strips three and a half inch strips and four inch strips and five four and a half inch strips I may not use the four four and a half inch strips I don't have too many of those I may only just use the couple that I've already cut but I want options so I all every quilt that I make that's going to be scrappy and I, I don't do a lot of scrappy quilts but uh, when I do a scrappy quilt I always cut extra because you never know how things are going to look once you start sewing and arranging so that's how you cut the strips colored fabric and white fabric so each strip in the once we start sewing we're going to sew these together along the short end and if you need a little extra wiggle room cut your white fabric an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch wider please remember to share your progress on instagram take pictures of your strips when we get to sewing share pictures of you sewing and use the hashtag library quilt q a l once again the hashtag is library quilt q a l if you have any questions feel free to contact me and i look forward to us continuing on with the library quilt quilt among